right guys, so we're gonna head to the store. We need to get you a blanket. Emery's wearing the outfit that Buggy picked out. Do you remember this? And it has the cat on it dressed as like a, or a monkey dressed as a kitty. It's a perfect little Halloween outfit. Sissy picked it out for you, didn't she? So cute. We need to get some, actually let's just get socks and I think you'll be okay. Be right back. What are you looking at? Are you serious? Boop. Three. What are you looking at? <laughs> so we're gonna go to the store today and I actually have a lot I need to do today. Go to the store and I need to call about my car. It's frustrating, like I called my insurance and everything and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna call you back and all this stuff and then I never heard back from them ever again. And I'm like, and I couldn't really call on the weekend. So I'm like, what is going on with my car? So yeah, I have to do that today and then what else was I gonna do? Oh, get some prescriptions refilled and all this other stuff, so. What did we make? Your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the pan, it's hot. You could eat that whole pan, I bet. No. So when you make kale chips, just know that you're gonna have to vacuum after you eat them, huh? It's all over your hands, all over the floor. That's okay. So the girls are down and I just cleaned up a little bit and I'm gonna just relax because I'm kinda tired today. It's like raining. It's definitely like fall day today. And I'm going to light this candle. This is Yankee Candle Pumpkin Spice. And I just love burning candles in the fall. It's like the best part of fall. So I'm gonna light that. Buggy ate that whole pan of kale chips, literally the whole entire pan, I'm not kidding. Like, And that was like a whole head of kale that she ate. I mean, I ate some of it too, but she loves kale chips. I think it's so adorable. So here's Travis's new drawing. I actually really like this one too. It's gonna be a good book. Yeah, it's turning out pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. They're turning out so good. All of the all of the drawings are. Well, I gotta color this one tonight. All right, guys. So I'm going to Cosmo Prof today, which is a beauty supply store, and I haven't been there in forever. But I am like out of shampoo and conditioner. Like I have none left. And I was washing my hair yesterday, and I was like, "Crap! I don't know what to wash my hair with." So I dyed my hair um, a little bit redder. I kept the lightness of it, so it's still really light, but I wanted it to be more brighter red. And ever since I dyed it the last time. I really loved it, don't get me wrong, but I still wanted it to be a little bit redder. So I decided to go ahead and color it redder. And plus, demi-permanent color makes your hair feel so soft and silky, and my hair was feeling so, like, just dead and gross, and I knew that coloring it was gonna make it all nice and soft and silky again, and I love the color, I think it's so pretty, so I'm really loving it, but I just need to get shampoo and conditioner, and my mom and Chelsea are actually up there right now because she has a doctor's appointment, and my mom went with her, and they want to go to Cosmo Prof too, and they can't go without me because I have my um, Cosmo Prof card, my professional license or whatever. So they always get really excited when they can go with me so they can buy a bunch of stuff. So we're going to go there, and then I think we're going to meet Travis for lunch because we haven't done that in a really long time. So I think we're going to meet him for lunch, and it's going to be a good day. Are you excited to see Grandma and Chelsea today? Oh, you're getting granola bar all over. And she's wearing my Follow My Blog shirt, huh? You want me to undo the rest of this? Mm -hmm. So we're eating at this new place called Jersey Mike's, mm -hmm. and it's pretty good. It's just like sub sandwiches. I like it. I think, I don't know where they're, they might be in California a lot. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good. I got a club with bacon on it. Bacon, bacon. Yeah, she obviously likes that more than her sandwich. I really like your hair. I know. Your hair turned out really pretty. I like it too, especially in the sun. No, you don't draw on my pants. You draw on paper. If you draw on my pants, you're gonna get in trouble. I just, I just 
drawing. No, Look. you don't draw on my pants. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I just oh, here's your crown. So I got some more hair color for when I do my hair again because I was running out and if you guys are wondering what my new hair color is like what I went over it I got 6RO and 9RO 6RO and 9RO and I just did equal parts of 6RO and 9RO and it gave me this really pretty red color that you guys saw so I got that for shampoo um, I got this Kenra this is color maintenance shampoo and I've used Kendra in the past and it was okay but I used like a different line. So I'm gonna try this and if I really like it then I'll get the big giant bottles. Um, that's the good thing about being a hairdresser is you can get really, really, really good deals on high-end products. And then I got the It's a 10 leave-in treatment but this is plus keratin because as you guys know I kind of bleached my hair a little bit so I thought this would be good to put in after I shower. Then I got this for Bug. This looks really cool. This is a static free comfort collection brush. And it has like these little balls on the end and I think it's gonna go, it's gonna be really easy to brush your hair with. So I got that for her. And I got myself a new brush. This one is the Shine brush and it has bristles but then it also has like the, um, I don't know, it's, it's unique. I can't really explain it but it has like two different types of bristles. And then I got two sets of eyelashes because I always go through my eyelashes. I only wear eyelashes usually one Here's time. Mine. So I got some eyelashes. That's nice. And I got this brush for Buggy or this comb so I could part her hair off. And I need some more hair color combs. This is for like foiling. And I only have like one and if I lose it then I'll be screwed. And then some hair clips for clipping my hair back when I uh, wash my face and stuff. So that's what I got at Cosmo Prof. And then at Target, I picked up this sweater. This is a nice sweater because it's super long and it's green. And it's a perfect like legging sweater because it's so long. My mom got this same sweater in gray and brown. And I fell in love with this scarf. It's kind of like, you know, Aztec inspired. But it's like purple and gray. And I thought it was so cute. Something I totally wear a ton. And then I got this shirt for Bug because it was like on the clearance rack. And I thought it was really cute. Just a striped shirt. So we're practicing sit-up time with Emery, and this is what I used to do with Buggy. I used to put pillows all around her, and they just practice sitting up, and then if they fall, they fall on the pillows, huh, Ams? But she's doing really good. She's just kind of chilling, aren't ya? Hmm? But she is getting, like, attitude. Like, it's funny because I can see attitude coming out in her, kind of like she's understanding, like, if I scream loud enough, Mommy will come and get me. And like just a second ago, she was sitting there on the floor and she was like, ah! Ah! but she was like staring right at me when she was doing it. And it wasn't like a cry, it was like a, like a scream, like a mom, like come and pick me up, like, ah! and I was like, oh my gosh, like it totally looked like she had like an attitude. And I was like, I can't believe this is happening already. Like it's crazy. And you're dressed up like a princess, as usual, huh? Are you ready for dinner? <laughs> and then maybe we can carve the pumpkins after her. You want to carve pumpkins? Yes. Okay. And then um, you can mix um, funny faces or moon. Mm hmm. Or, um, so you look at the faces and stuff on it, and this, there's a spider. Or a bat. What do you want to carve on yours? A face? Um. About a bat. You want to carve a bat on yours, like Batman? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Look Mine at her sitting over like there. Batman. She's so cute. She's just sitting there. Minding her own business. Good? Mm-hmm. So having leftovers, the same thing we had yesterday. This is the sour cream noodle bake. It's pretty darn good. I like it. Mm hmm I don't know where I got this recipe. I got, I got it from my mom, but I don't know where she got it. But it's good. Don't you think, Bug? Mmm. 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 Mmm.
She's getting an early start in basketball. What? You want some peas tonight? Your first time having peas? Oh, you do. I was excited. Yeah? So it is, oh my gosh, way later than I thought it was. I thought it was only like 11, but it's like 12. But I need to go to bed because Emery keeps waking up. She's woken up like three times since she went to bed and I put her to bed like a half an hour early, like 8.30. I usually put her to bed at nine, but she was super tired. So I was like, okay, I'll just put her to bed at 8.30. And she's seriously woken up like three times and it's only like 12 o'clock and she doesn't usually do this. She usually will go to sleep at nine and then wake up at like five. That's like her sleeping schedule. So I don't know what her deal is, but I need to go to bed now, like right now, because if I don't, then I'm not gonna get any sleep because I have a feeling she's gonna be doing this all night. Which like I said, is totally, totally not like her. I don't know, but I fed her peas tonight for the first time, like real baby food, not rice cereal. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Probably does, but um, I don't know, we'll see. So anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow and I think Lucky's gonna go to my mom's ballet class tomorrow. So that is the plan. Where's the light? What are you eating? Banana. The banana. Are you like a monkey? No, I'm like, like, um, princess. Oh, you sure love your princesses, huh? So last night was quite the night because I think I vlogged right before bed last night saying that Emery had woken up like three times. And like, she does not do that ever. And I never have to worry about waking up with her. And so I was like, I need to go to sleep. And sure enough, she did that like all night long. And I think it's because I started her out on some baby food. And I don't know if she was used to it or whatever. And I also put her to bed like half an hour early cause she was like not tired. Or I mean, she was tired, but I think her schedule or something was just screwed up. I don't know what it was, but like all night. And I'd have to get up and give her her booty and then Travis would have to get up. And then I had to feed her like two times and it was just a weird night. So I'm like really <laughs> tired today, but it's okay. I think we're gonna take Buggy to ballet class. My mom wants her to come to ballet class. Are you helping grandma? What are you making? We can make. What are you making? I'm making. What is it? Grilled cheese? No, we have to cut it in half. Careful, that's the sharp side. Cut it in half, right here. Okay. Now we flip this one over here like that, and then you're going to put cheese on there. Put it on there. I want just one bite. If that's up to you. Do you just have one? I don't care. Yeah. Do you want yeah, one? Yeah, have a bite. Yeah, taste it. And then put the rest on your sandwich. Fold it in half. <clears throat> what else do you want to put on your plate? Would you like an orange or a, a peach? Peach. It's like James and the Giant what? Peach. Jane and the Giant Peach. <laughs> Remember that movie, Jane and the Giant Peach? Do you want some, um... Do, do, do you see that Jane and the Giant Peach? Yes, I did see that movie and I really liked it. I went to see it when you, with your mommy when she was a little girl. I didn't get to film at ballet class because I forgot my camera, of course. But I got some pictures and I got some phone video, but I still don't know how to change phone video to be able to like work on iMovie, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it in, but it was so cute. It's just so cute watching Elena dance, and she does such a good job, and you can kind of tell that she's like a year younger than the girls, but she still did so good, like really good. Say, okay, come on, Ibs. Come on, Ibs. Go. Hey. Oh, good job, Em. It's my turn. Okay. Hey. Call her, okay, call her. Emery! Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, watch, Emery's gonna call you now. Okay. Okay, Emery. Say, get her. Say, come on, sissy. Come on, sissy. Okay, Go. Come on. Go. Come on, sissy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -oh.
hi to the camera. Hi. So I want you sound like a mermaid. Pretty dark. Oh. Yeah. mom's house um elena and emery both went down for a nap at like 1 30 and they've been like asleep forever and i think elena was really tired today which i don't know why i feel like she was you know she slept good last night but she had a meltdown after we swam like meltdown um it was like just one of those moments that really caught her at a bad time and she just looked tired and she seemed tired and so she's been sleeping since 1 30 and it's like almost four and Emery's been the same. So I'm like, okay, well, cause I'll just sit here until they wake up. So I don't know, but I was gonna get a Halloween video up today, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it up until tomorrow, like tomorrow morning, um, which is fine. So my mom needed two pounds of cherry tomatoes, 2.0 and she took the greens off of all of these and was like, okay, I'm gonna major them now. I think this is two pounds and sure enough, exactly two pounds. <laughs> Did you sleep good? Mm -hmm. Can you tell them about swimming? I love to go swimming because you swim and you jump really high. Yeah, and you jump in the water. You are really good in the water. And I am being a, and I be a mermaid when I go in the water. Did you see all the kids come in and do swimming lessons? That's what you need to do. Yeah, we'll do swimming lessons when you get a little older. I hear a little baby. So we are going to carve what? Pumpkin! There's Buggy's pumpkin. I'm going to carve my pumpkin. And this is a big pumpkin. That's a family pumpkin, huh? Right? Um, I'm going to carve mine. Um, what are you going to carve in it? Bat! You want to do a bat? Uh-huh. Okay. I love bat. We definitely a bat. If you guys want to know a little tip when cutting pumpkins, um, like cutting the top off of a pumpkin. You want to cut like a little notch in the top part so you always know where the um, top of the pumpkin goes. See how I did a little notch there? on your thing. Batman? Mm -hmm. Okay. So where's the good front of the pumpkin? Right here? Mm -hmm. That's a good way. Okay. So let's see. Um, Here's the head. Oh, that's a bad me. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Yeah. Okay. Should we cut that out? Okay, guys, this is my Batman. Does that look like Batman? Okay. Nobody's eyes. We want it to glow in the dark, because on Halloween we'll light our pumpkins, and everyone will be like, whoa, look at that cool Batman pumpkin. A really cool little girl must have done that one. And, right? And, 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 and they will say, Mommy did it. Yeah, but you're the one that had the really awesome idea. You're the one that thought to do Batman. Whew. This is gonna be the coolest pumpkin ever. So excited. I'm so excited too. Whew, that's hard. 
Mama needs workout. <laughs> Almost done. Just a little bit more to go and we can push it out and go put a candle in it. Okay, the, here's Elena's Batman pumpkin. There's Batman. Look at it. You did so good helping mommy with that. So dad is going to make a scary face, he said. No, I'm making a happy face, remember? Oh, you are? Oh, no, he's doing a good happy face with teeth. So we got an evil pumpkin by Travis. Ooh, so now we just have to light it. Look, that's so cool.